it's Clay from Bays and BikeBandit.com, and I want the attention of the sport touring riders. I have got a pretty nifty helmet from HJC. This is the CL Max 2 helmet. Uh, as you know, HJC has been doing it a long time. They've got lots of helmets out there, and they do it right. Safety in mind, technology driven. Uh, a lot of customization goes into HJC helmets, and the CL Max 2 definitely does it. Let's start with the paint. You've got the matte black here, got a lot of options. You're not stuck with this one. Yeah, a lot of helmets maybe have the white. Uh, they got some plain colors. No, you've got six colors to choose from and actually three graphic options with the CL Max 2, which is really cool to add uh, when you're riding. You want a little flavor, go for it. Get your special color. Um, the lens itself, the actual face shield here can be removed. A lot of different color options from HJC. Uh, especially about removal, parts, and there's lots of replacement parts from HJC on their website. So maybe something comes loose, maybe something's getting rusty, maybe something's getting old. Replace it, put it on, keep this helmet alive for a long time. It's good money in the bank. This helmet will last a long time, especially when you can replace the parts. So, face shield comes up, big field of view, keeps it out of the way, wear your glasses when you're riding, you're good to go. But remember, this is a modular helmet. I love modular helmets, they're so much fun. I love the fact that you can just pull up here in the chin bar, hit the switch, boom, look at that. You are ready to hit that fast food in and out, get to the ATM, say hi to your buddies on the road. Uh-oh, we got ourselves a green light, wind is coming, snap her down, good to go and to get riding. I love how fast and easy it is. Um, the hinge system feels really smooth when you open and close it. It's not clunky, you don't fight it. I love that about this helmet. Some of these modular helmets, when you click that button and flip it up, you can definitely feel the gearing and how it moves within itself, which is kind of a pain in the butt. I like how smooth it is. I mean, it's HJC. They've been doing it a long time, which is really nice. Um, ventilation. So the front ventilation here is a chin bar ventilation. As this thing snaps open and close, it's easy to find. Some slide down and show a big ram air induction. Not this one. This actually pulls in the air more if you were tilted. So they think of that wind coming at you and how that ventilation is going to dive into the chin bar. So uh, it's a snap. Now on the top one here, you've got the temple points. Now the temple points are a little hard to find with the snap. Some are big sliders. They think other helmet companies have thought of like why you're wearing your gloves and how you're going to use your gloves and what's going to be easy to find. These ventilation points actually are a little small for gloves. It's easier to find with your fingers. Uh, but hey, listen, you got the ventilation and it's there. It's got to go somewhere out the back. Oh yeah, you've got the uh, spoiler here exhaust. So air comes in, air comes out. HAC keeping you cool in the CL Max 2. Now, modular helmets mean you open and close them all the time and the inside could get a little funky. No big deal. Pull it all out, wash it, toss it back in. Now remember in the beginning, I said it had technology built into it. It does. On the side, right here, Bluetooth ready. Third party Bluetooth communication and music systems can actually be integrated into this helmet very simply and easily. I like that they included that. Keeps it slick. Um, those old uh, systems on the outside are, can be really noticeable. Not anymore. They're helping you plug and play and keep it easy inside the helmet, which I dig. This is the HJC CL Max 2. Lots of colors, lots of customization, replaceable stuff. It is a modular helmet. Do you like modular helmets? Maybe you don't. No big deal. Let me know your favorite modular helmet to wear. If it's not from HAC, let me know in the comment section below. I can't wait to review the video for you. And the only way to make sure you do see that video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Come back. Let me know if I caught up on your comments and reviewed your favorite helmet. I can't wait to do it. Now, if you want the CL Max 2, stop by Vase Power Sports in San Diego, California. Pick it up. Or you can order from the comfort of your own home at BikeBandit.com. Did you like our video? Well, if so, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more exclusive reviews, project builds, and special content. And while you're at it, like our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by clicking the links in the description.